Hey everybody, it's Streamline Steamroller. So I was at a train show yesterday. It was the uh, Paris Swap Meet out at uh, Orange Empire Brown Museum. It's really cool. They're running the E8 that day, 42, uh, 942. It's pretty cool. Anywho, so there's a couple of th this is a lot of stuff that I got. Most of it from Pops Productions 124. This whole box, Pops Productions 124, he gave that to me. By the way, go check out uh, Pops Productions 124's channel. It's really awesome. I mean, he's in the same stuff I am, you know, trains. and also into uh, farm equipment. He's got tractors. It's really awesome. Anywho, so he gave me a station. Let's see. It's falling apart. There's no tabs on top. So the roof just kind of sits on there like that. Basic, uh, his dad bought bought this just for the uh, signs on it, so there's no signs. Yeah, let's put this back. Whoa. Stuff's falling. Oh, I also got this from him. This is a Riverasi insert. <laughs> uh, Ives. Somebody painted that. Oh, those couplers. Ugh. Weird couplers. They do work, though. There's another Ives base. Look that. And put a soup can on that and call it a tank car. So here's an, another Ives car. This is actually the best one. I mean, this is a half decent car. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I'm going to put it out here in my layout so everybody can see it. Okay, what else we got? Uh, this is an Ives. Um, looks like these were bent up at one point. Like that. So it was like a log car. Oh, I don't even want to talk about that. Uh, another one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, station. Ooh, what the? How do I need that? Woohoo! It gave me a 2333 shell. It's cracked in the back, but really? That thing's gotta be worth something. Um, Pops Productions, if you want this thing back, you can go ahead and have it, because I'm not gonna take this thing. If, if you really want it. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, uh, another one. Garbage! Got an eight, uh, Mark's 897 shell. Now, these are cool. Oh, wait, Pops Productions 124. If you're watching this, um, remember you said you wanted the boiler front? I'll, I'll give it back to you in the next, next train show. Let's see. I got a 283 shell. I wish I had a 283 to go in the shell. Yeah, I kind of wanted one of those. I also have the uh, tender for it. There we go. Or at least what's left of it. It's actually pretty nice. That's actually a complete car. I'm going to use that. Whoa, it's getting dark in here. Let's turn on the light. Awesome. Well, that didn't do much. Well, missile firing car. Awesome. Okay, we got some Mark's cabooses. Another one. I got a bench. I'll put that out on the way out. Get some, uh, just some, I don't know, put a soup can on it, make the tank car. I don't even know what this is. Did somebody tell me, is this Hafner? Oh yeah, that's Hafner, because there's another one here. Oh no, this isn't Hafner, I don't know what that one is. More marks. More marks. More marks. Uh, messed up caboose. Here's the, uh, tender weight for the, uh, 283. The 283. It's a tender weight. Look at that, it's just like they put all their garbage in there. And all the cuttings and everything. Just, eh, I put a weight in it. It's a switch controller. I got two of these old pre-war, uh, what are these called, Marks controllers. I have one, but it's re it's really loud, so I'm, thankfully I got more. So I'm going to try this out later today. All right, let's get, all right, so this is not everything I got. I mean, I got much better stuff, and it's in my room right now, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that in just a second. Be right back. Okay, everybody, we're back. More awesomeness. So, this is basically the stuff, this is actually the good stuff that came into my room. If it goes in the room, it's good. If it's out in the garage, it's meh. Anywho, so I got a Hobby Line, uh, what is this, a Hobby Line, what is it, H1044, H1244, I believe it's an H1044 because it's got the back uh, thing on it. Whoa! Yeah, this thing is really plasticky. Like, the really, not all that great detailing. There's no lights. Um, it's rubber band drive. And the rubber band's all cracked and garbage. So, I gotta put a new one on there. But it was FM. I don't love FM. I just saw... Oh, look! 
Fairbanks Morris. How much you want for it? Ten bucks. All right. Can't compete with that. This is a Burlington. Burlington Northern. I got a lot of Burlington Northern stuff from Pops Productions. There's one thing. Another thing. Got a gondola. Got a lifelike art. Uh, uh, lifelike. What is this thing? Uh, F7. And I got... What is this? Uh, my, uh, Mahano or AHM RS11. But I mean, this is the... Here's a lifelike one. Why is this silver? Why is it silver? Silver, silver, silver. It's just too much. It needs to be black. And not... Like, down there. Just, like, black. Just the top. Might even repaint that someday. This is what it should look like. This is not what it should look like. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Fitty. <laughs> Anywho. So, got this thing. This is, actually looks pretty good. Doesn't run. That one runs, though. And this one doesn't. Wow. Alright, oh, so let's see what else we got going more crap factor is going up. Like, eh, this is a ty this is a Tyco. It'd be actually half decent if it was put together, but uh it's falling apart. Yep. Uh this here is a Bachman caboose. It actually looks half decent, but it doesn't have any wheels. It's got horn hook couplers. I'm gonna put wheels on that, it's gonna work! Okay, let's see what else we got around here. Um, oh, this here's an Atherin FA2, FA1 shell, I don't know. But, um, it's not completely painted, and it's not hand-done, e it's not, like, home-done either. So is this rare? Is it worth a lot of money? I don't know. <laughs> Texas and Pacific. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna steal the wheels off of that and put it on there, because I need this, this thing more. Triangle Pacific. Was that even a road name? Triangle Pacific. What is that, Bermuda Triangle and Pacific? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is something. Look how cute it is! Sunshine special. Aww! It's adorable. I think this is, yeah, this here is Joyline. Bottom of the car is brass. And actually, something real interesting is that uh, you can't see it, but it says strong ale on the bottom of the car. It was a beer can. The bottom of the, this car was a beer can. That's pretty cool. It actually kind of makes kind of a cool little, little looking carpet, too. Pretty awesome. Now, I had bought. Oh, well, I'll get to that story later. Serious, I got an OK Streamliner car set. Modernize your railroad with OK Streamliners. Next time in stores. Next time when modernizing your railroad, buy OK Streamliners. Why do they call it OK? Why, why not just like Super Streamliners or something? I mean, OK is like meh. What does OK even stand for? I don't know. OK Streamliners. This is a complete kit. I don't even think I want to build this for two reasons. One, it's a complete kit. Two, uh, three reasons. One, it's a complete kit. Two, it's got this awesome 50s look to it. And three, look at the shell. Looks like somebody took like a like a sander and just went, yeah, made it all poo-poo. But I found another shell. I might build it. Look at that. Look at the bottom. This was high quality. Man, look at that. Yeah, somebody messed this one up pretty good. But... It's pretty cool. I mean, I bought it for eight bucks. It's a complete kit. Look at, I mean, look at that. That is so 50s. So, yeah, I got a flywheel from Pops Productions 124 for a. Um, I'm going to use this on my weed because uh, I need one. I gave him a boiler and a sight glass. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, so I also got a pair of Mark's uh, 21 AA diesels. There they are. They look pretty cool next to each other. These are big. These are not little trains. They're big. Look at this. Almost Lionel sized. Oh, heavy. Basically, this was like the poor boy's version of the 2343. But uh, there's one problem with this thing. It's missing a gear in here. So this doesn't get power from the motor. But this does. I've run this. It actually runs. But eh, it's kind of meh. Like, it'd be better if it had this. I could probably have the gear somewhere. And also, the bearing's messed up. i fix that. I uh, got a two rail switch. It's awesome. Oh yeah, I also got this little whistle, little Tyco whistle. I like this little button. That sounds half decent. Put it on your uh, accessory voltage. It's awesome. Let's see. Ooh, make this thing run. No, oh, that's shorting. Okay. Now I had bought a set of uh, Japanese-made uh, cars. They're Santa Fe. They're brass. Or I don't know what they're. They're kind of like this. But not quite. And they had these... The trucks on them were like... 
they're like this. They're black. And I thought, oh, somebody probably just threw those on there for, for laughs. I don't know. Anywho, so showed him to my buddy Pops Productions. And he said, he was there at the train show with me. And he said, no, those are the original tracks. You got to keep those. And I thought, oh, these things look stupid. So I said, well, I said, okay, well, I don't like these. You like them. How about a trade? So he traded me this locomotive. So here's a, uh, what's this thing? This is a um, Mantua uh, 060 Slopeback Tender. It didn't run when I got it. Well, not runs. It's got red cross heads. It runs real smooth. No headlight. I get, I'm going to put one in there. It actually has the old couplers, the uh, old knuckle couplers. The ones that don't open, but are all scale. <laughs> Excuse me. But um, I pulled out all my cars that have that. Yeah, it's a pretty nicely running engine. I also bought it this caboose for five bucks. Uh, it had the couplers that go with that, but um, it fell off and got to look for it in my box. Anywho, so that's uh, everything. Wait, hold on, that's not everything. I got this. And I got this for free. Poo poo. Very poo poo. Anywho, I'll probably give that to like a little kid or something. Anywho. So, I'm Streamline Steamroller. See you in my next video. Y'all have a good day. Bye.